Free, fright. Uh, it, it's it's been bizarre. But what's been a constant right the way through this is is, is me being able to sit here uh, Monday to Friday from ten to two and just and just find out about what you're doing in Teesside County Durham in North Yorkshire to make a difference. You know, you you put your own worries and concerns to one side to help others and it's just amazing so let's let's have something nice and bright to make a difference on this very very gray leaden sky friday now coming up i've got a track for you which i promise will make you feel like the sunshine is indoors it'll make you feel so happy now local ska band the scarp owns have released a calypso track this month and it's coming out very very shortly but before we evolve from the song i had a chat with paul williams now paul is from the group and i I caught up with him a while ago and I wanted to know about how the year has been for him as a musician. It's a case of having to, you know, like the, like the human condition, you sort of have to adapt to, to your surroundings and what's going on. So we, we did what everybody else started doing uh, and that's performing online. And um, so not all that, sometimes it would be an acoustic set, so maybe three or four of a band doing individual shots from the home and we would mix, the, we, they would record their bits, we would mix it and then sort of mime at home, if you know what I mean. So mm. that sort of, so you get a nice mix. Uh, sometimes we did live stuff uh, individually. Um, we recreated promotional videos with um, isolated videos, you know, these blocks you see on screens and, and stuff like that. So we do a lot of that. We've appeared at um, um, a lot of online festivals as well, you know, with, with live sets from previous live sets recorded, say, beginning of the year and things like that, you know, uh, and stuff like that. So it's been... And it's been very, very busy. Uh, we've been we, we were very lucky to be able to record in March, which means we've got a new single coming out next week. Wow, I know. And this yeah. is the exciting thing about it, the, the new single. Yeah. T- tell us about the single because it, it's so bright and sunny, and we need something like that right now, don't we? Well, yeah, we do indeed. And I think that was the idea. I think we were going to release something a lot heavier called the "Eyes of a Child," but um, I thought, do you know what? Um, you know, people just need a, a little bit of a distraction. It's been hell of a. It's like being hit over the head with a hammer every day, hasn't it, for the last mm. few weeks and uh, last few months and stuff. So, it's um, just need a bit, a bit of a bit of brightness in our lives. And I just thought, a bit of warmth, a bit of distraction, a bit of beach. You know, think to, to set people's minds thinking of of nicer times and a better ambience. You know, and an atmosphere and holidays and you know, it's just something nice and upbeat. That's yeah. it. Nice it, it must it must feel a million years ago since you were supporting the specials on their 40th anniversary tour yeah. and in, oh, up on there. Can you remember live audiences? Can you remember when you could play in front of people, Paul? Oh, it's, it's, and that the thing is, as, as, as a live actor stuff like that, and we are, I'll be honest, I think we are better live than we are in the studio, and I think a lot of bands are the same, to be fair. Um, is that because you can like, sort of just, like, sort of get the energy off each other and, you know, the, the bass player yeah. will start something and the drum will kick in and then the guitar, and then you yeah. can, you can all... Yeah, it's like it's like, it's like that. But we get in the crowd, you know. We we dive in the crowd and stuff like that, and sing along and dance around, and and it creates like a party atmosphere. And that's what we're well known for. Um, but no, it's 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 been a very strange thing. Completely very. It's very alien. And um, you know, the last time we played live properly was March, uh, and we were going. It was just before lockdown. Lockdown happened on the Monday, and we played in Edinburgh on the Saturday. But by this time, news had already filtered through about the. Covid nineteen situation, but and I've never seen a capital city quiet. It was it was eerie. Mm. I mean, the gig itself was quite good, but it was very eerie. Because this time of the year, I would imagine you you get a lot of work because you know everyone wants the party band and everybody yeah. wants you guys. It it, it it just creates that lovely atmosphere on the run up to Christmas. That's not there mm. anymore. It, it, it must it must break your heart. It does. And, you know, and, and a lot. I've been talking to a lot of venues and and, and promoters and things, and then the, the you know. The, the, the wits end, you know, because um, people, people want to get back to it. We tried social distance gigs, which were great to to get out there, but it just doesn't have that connection like you just mentioned. It's like being um, half pregnant, isn't it? You can't. You, you, you're either in or you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, say exactly. So you know, and, and it's just, a, it's a yeah, it's completely and utterly strange. And we were booked from January right through to New Year's Eve every weekend, you wow. know. And so we've lost. A, a, we'll be honest, we've lost a lot of money, and we've lost. You know, um, and that's another thing. You know, what we've been trying to do in the off sort of off peak, as off season as we call it, um, is you know make a lot of merchandise. We've had a new single release. We've had our very first vinyl single release in America, which was brilliant. Um, so we, you know, we're happy about we we. 
we've been happy on that front because it's kept us in the in the, in the, in the limelight, so to speak. Mm. So the, the, being able to write something as, as, as jolly and as upbeat and as mm. lovely as the new single, it must yeah. have been hard because you're not drawing from a, a happy place, are you? You're, you're drawing from an experience of this is just yeah. despair. <laughs> yeah, it is. And, it, it, um, you know, like I say, we were originally going to release something a little bit heavy now. I thought, you know what, the chance of it, doing anything we're going to be slim because people don't want to hear that really i don't think they do i don't and i think people just want something to be distracted by and uh, and i think happy you know um a lot of the reviews we've had coming in for the single say it's catchy and stuff like that and it's some some people say oh it's an earworm and i'm whistling it and, and that's the idea and that's the idea Perfect. it's an upbeat tune and stuff like that so you know it's, it's slightly infectious so do us a favor then paul i'm putting you in the hot seat introduce your new single and we'll get it on bbc radio tease Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Scapones, the North East Fighting Scar Band. <laughs> and this is Root Boy, Root Girl, the new single out December the 19th. Root Boy! Capones, one of the best party bands across the whole of Teesside County, Durham, North Yorkshire and beyond. Massive in America, you know, the Scapones. Absolutely I, huge. I love I, a steel drum, me. There's nothing better. Well, when I uh, when I embark on my... Uh, six-